Hey everyone, um, there have been a lot of questions about what's in the Oz Engineering JV6 swap kit and I just got one here. Uh, I don't know if I have all the parts or not yet, um, but I'll show you the parts that I do have. So, let's see what is in these boxes. I already started opening this one. I did also get, they have an option for uh, a water kit portion, so I do have that on order as well. So we'll see if that came through. Uh, the box has all arrived in pretty good condition. Um, there are plenty of packing peanuts and such in here to make sure everything stays together. Looks like this is the oil pan. So, yep. I'm gonna come a little closer. So here is the oil pan. Um, looks pretty solid. You got the drain plug up here. You got the area for the pump in here. Uh, this is supposed to be designed to made up nicely with the Miata subframe, um, and this will not be the lowest point of the vehicle underneath the vehicle. That's one of the reasons that I went with this kit um, is that you don't have to worry at least as much about bottoming out on this and dumping all your oil, which you want to avoid. Um, the welds look pretty nice on here. I'm no welder, but um, yeah, those look pretty good to me. So, all right, well, that's one part. Very nice. Let's see what's in the big box. And these guys, by the way, at Oz Engineering have been great to work with so far. Um, very responsive. I mean, the lead time's kind of long, but that's what to expect right now, especially from an outfit that's only a couple of guys working. Um, there's a nice thank you note here, talking about reaching out to them and such. We'll read that later. A lot of packing peanuts in here as well. Let's see what we've got. Something metal in here. Okay, so here we have, this is the starter dust cover. So for those of you who don't know, um, you have to cut a hole in the tunnel inside the passenger's footwell to make an access point for the starter. Um, so this looks like it's a piece for that. Okay, there's a radiator hose splicer here. Thermostat housing. Probably shouldn't take all this out. Um, AC drain hose, which is nice because I do want to retain air conditioning on my setup. And this here looks like this is the uh, template for what you need to cut out for the starter access. So it is kind of nice. What happens with this kit is the starter is, is mounted up a little bit on the transmission bell housing, so it's not down on the bottom. It can't hit things and drag. But because of that, it's harder to access. So if you ever need to service it, that's why you cut into your tunnel. Okay, what else do we have here? I'm not going to show you all these. There's some stuff for the water manifold and EGR, so a lot of bolts and such. Here's the crankshaft extension. Okay, this is to align your throwout bearing. That's a nice touch. Ah, this is the bracket that will hold the starter on the bell housing once you cut the bell housing up. So, I mean, Various other, you know, bolts and such, but you can see everything is in here, is separated out really nicely, is labeled really nicely, so that's nice. Um, yeah, pretty nicely put together that way. All right, let's see what else we got here. All 
Okay, this is part of the water kit. So I'm not sure which hose this is, but this looks like one that will go from uh, maybe the water pump back to the heater core, I'm not sure. But I'm not gonna take it out right now because I'm not installing today, but there's some nice heat wrapping on here. Can you get a little closer? If you can look on that, will it focus up on there? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to take it out of the bubble wrap, but there's one of the pieces. Um, again, nicely packaged, wrapped well. All right, it looks like this is the uh, one of the mating from the engine to the, from the JV6 onto the Miata motor mounts. Again, nicely packaged. All right, this is also part of the water kit. Um, I don't know whether or not to recommend the water kit. I guess I'll be able to say more once I get the thing put together, but for me, um, I don't have a ton of time. So something like this, that's that's a pretty much drop in. You know, you throw this in and you're gonna be able to hook everything up. You don't have to worry about finding hoses and sourcing parts. That's what all these are as well. These are the proper silicone hoses that we need. So that's fantastic because um, you know, for me, I'd rather spend a little bit more because you're going to have to buy all the hoses and parts anyway. Um, but this is a complete fitted kit, and that makes life easier. Ah, okay. This I will take out because this we all want to see. This is the adapter plate that's going to adapt the transmission bell housing on the Miata with the JV6. Again, nicely packaged. Double bubble wraps. Not too heavy. So, seems to be machined out pretty nicely. Everything looks nice and even. Uh, it's got a nice OZ Engineering stamped on there, or I think this is Oz Engineering, sorry. <laughs> um, everything's threaded nicely. I will report back on how this all fits, of course. But, you know, it looks nice as it is. I feel like I'm bobbing for apples in here. Okay, here's our other adapter plate to hook up from the engine to the motor mounts on the Miata. For those of you who don't know this kit, um, the reason that I went with this kit over the Mini Tech kit, which is a really popular kit and has been around a lot longer, this is again part of the water kit. Here, oh no, this is the oil pump for the oil pickup. So this is designed to go into the sump here in the uh, oil pan uh, because that's all custom, obviously. Um, one thing I liked about this kit that is the Mini Tech kit, which is out there, the Super Fast Miata, I think, is the other name for that company. And that kit's kind of tried and true, which is nice. The two things I didn't like about that, it does not mount to the Miata subframe. It replaces the subframe. And I don't think it actually has motor mounts. It, it hangs on the transmission, which people have said has been working fine. Um, but I prefer something to actually use motor mounts and mount onto the frame. Um, and the, uh, the oil pan hangs a little low. And I know they've done a couple of generations that seem to be working a little better, but I don't think any of them are as tight as this one here. Also, keeping the Miata subframe should keep the steering geometry bone stock, which is fantastic. Um, so I think this kit was just a, for my usage, I want this to be a street car. This is not a track car. Um, so I wanted to have, you know, very stock drivability. So it fit for what I wanted there. Okay, this is the cover for when you make that hole for the starter. So there's a dust shield and there's a cover. And... I'm going to let my kid jump in here when we're done. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> I think that's it. That looks like everything. So it's shipped as two boxes. You have two different tracking numbers for the uh, for the oil pan and for everything else. Um, here, let me switch with you there, son. And we'll get some a little closer here. So again, let's take a look at... This is the oil pan here, and 
like I said, I'm not a welder, but from my eye, this looks like some pretty good weld work that's on here. Um, it's pretty thick, so it looks like it should stand up pretty nicely. Um, yeah, everything looks pretty good so far. So for everyone who had any questions on what exactly was in the kit, that's everything. I know this isn't really nice. It's a big hodgepodge of stuff. Maybe I'll get a picture and, and post it up with everything that's on there. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, you know, post it in the comments. I'll answer what I can because I know these aren't in a lot of people's hands yet. And yeah, I'll, I'll uh, show some other stuff as I start getting it built.